fellow engineers, developers, and friends, Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design here, and this is In Case You Missed It, my weekly news show where I talk about everything that you might have missed in the embedded world over the past week. And it's Happy New Year, and I am here once again to celebrate the new year in Las Vegas for CES. I'm here in the Las Vegas Convention Center here on opening day, and I'm going to take you through some of my favorite booths and show you a little bit of what's going on. And we're going to start right here with John Deere. Look at this gorgeous combine harvester. Now, that's just cool to look at, but that's not the technology, and I know you want to get into it. Right over here, a wide variety of automated handy tools for agriculture and farming. And the one I want to show you right here is this first one here. It is sort of a game where they've got an automated steering mechanism where you sit into that cockpit there. There's somebody in there doing it right now. And it shows you how hard and or difficult it can be to steer your way through a uh, field as a, uh, as a farmer and how John Deere technology can help. Everything that you can see, there's obviously a lot more going on and uh, we got more to show you, so don't go away. We're back, Ken Briota here, and I am here at the booth of Oshkosh. Now, Oshkosh uh, is not about overalls, my friends, no. They're about robotics and connected fleets. And if you look directly behind me right now, there's a really cool uh, little vehicle here that is showcasing uh, LiDAR, radar, all sorts of tracking technologies and how they're using those to get your fleet connected. They have so much going on here in Oshkosh. Clear Sky Smart Fleet is designed to connect drivers and operators all the way across. You look behind me, there's a really cool display that you can check out. Tons of stuff going on here in Oshkosh and you don't want to miss it. So get yourself down to Las Vegas because there are some really interesting safety, technology, and security things happening here as they talk about the job site of the future. Hello engineers, developers, and friends. I am about to walk you into one of the most exciting and interesting booths that I've seen all day here from LG Inatech. This booth is taking up a huge amount of real estate right as you walk in. And you can see this gigantic screen behind me as I walk by. It is truly beautiful. They're showcasing so much uh, during this wonderful show. And a lot of it is happening right here. They've got an autonomous driving camera happening on the screen right now. It's truly beautiful. So lots going on there with LG. And I'm gonna walk directly here into Amazon because again, CES has become an auto show, as I'm sure many of you have noticed, and Amazon is not to be left out. Welcome to Amazon for Automotive. They have got this gorgeous booth where they are walking through a ton of really interesting autonomous tools. They've got a bunch of vehicle shopping tools, tons of stuff happening here at CES for everyone to take a look at satellite connectivity. And then of course, there's a bunch of Gen AI tools, but my favorite thing right here is this Nova racing experience. Look at the driving, look at this. Uh oh, oh, we had a crash, that'll happen. Don't go away friends, we got more to come. All right, I'm back again. Now I've made the quip, I've made the joke that CES is an auto show, but I'm here with Waymo. I'm just gonna walk by, you know who Waymo is. They're the automated taxi cab company and they've got this really cool futuristic booth that I'm walking past. Look at all of this and they are showcasing a truly beautiful new vehicle here as that I'm about to show you. Look at that. That is gorgeous. But that was just a fun pass by as I walk here into the booth that I want to show you, which is Qualcomm. Now Qualcomm is as always a leader. And one of my favorite things that they've got here is a robotics demo. You see, there's a robot sitting right there. He's not doing anything right now, but earlier he was sorting and picking up all the different fruits and handling them. And he's running on dragon wing. They just changed the display behind me. Um, there's so much interesting stuff here. I'm never going to be able to show it all to you, but don't go away because I'm going to be back with even more 
as I head over to the Venetian to check out what's going on over there. Hello friends, Ken Briotti here from Embedded Computing Design and this is another segment of In Case You Missed It. I am here at CES in Las Vegas yet again and this time I am off-site in the uh, Ambarella Suite and they've been showing me around some of the interesting tech that they've been making and I'm here in their brand new Dev Zone. Now this is a whole suite of solutions and products that Ambarella has been putting together to help developers ramp up and get more involved in AI at the edge faster and more efficiently um, there's some really cool stuff to take a look at and I'm gonna give you just a tiny little taste this is the uh, the launch here and what you're seeing behind me on the screen is a set of tools that allows you to work with a menu of models ramping up faster and getting you involved in AI tools on this side we've got a really cool uh, system for building a workflow with Agentic so you can plug and click and drag these different models and tools and workflow into place as you go. You don't even need to code, although it probably helps. Uh, they claim that I'll be able to do it. I don't necessarily believe them, but I know you can. So friends, uh, don't go away. There's a lot more and in case you missed it coming to you from CES. Still wandering around at CES and I've just snuck my way into the Amazon showroom and I'm right here in the area where they're talking about Amazon sidewalk and all of the new stuff that's been coming for Ring. Right behind me is the newly announced Ring app store. It's gonna allow you to customize Ring and use it in a lot of different interesting ways. Let's take a look at just a couple. We've got these Ring sensors that they're using for home security. We've got, this is particularly interesting over here, Retinal Vision with 4K that's going to uh, allow you to load into your spotlights and ring cameras all over facilities for the sake of paying attention to who's coming and going as all the usual things and doing facial recognition and identification. We've got Firewatch and uh, behind me, just over there, Search Party, both more ring tools. There's a lot coming from Amazon, as you might expect, and a lot of really interesting stuff. In the Venetian ballroom areas, there's yet more exhibit halls here. And I wanna walk you by so much health at CES, so much health technology. I wanna walk you by here where they're using, as it says on the sign there, precision AI and voice technologies for health here with Qmetrics. Now, I'm gonna walk right around here to their the front of their booth. Um, there's some really interesting health stuff here where they are leveraging AI for voice and all sorts of stuff. Now, if you look at this display right behind me, it's walking you through just a bunch of the tools that Humetrics is offering for leveraging AI and voice in healthcare, home health, and in interfacing with medical professionals. There's lots more to come, don't you worry, I'm gonna bring you as much as I can. Here's something really interesting. Obviously, CES every year is the home of all the new gadgets, all the new fun technology and uh, consumer-facing stuff, but this is particularly cool. Right behind me, you see the Lutera C1. They're calling it entry-level CNC with pro-level power. And look at this tiny little desktop CNC machine. It's sort of the reverse of your own home 3D printer and it's really, really beautiful. I'm gonna try and show you the detail on this that they've got right here. Look at how beautiful that is. It's really cool stuff. Man, you guys are missing it, but not for long because I'm here to bring you everything in case you missed it. Obviously, as you might expect, there's a ton of robotics and robotic stuff happening and so much that I couldn't possibly show you all of it, but I'm standing here right in front of the MUVA booth, and as you can see, uh, tons of really cool outdoor robotic, like lawn mowers, pool cleaners. This particular one is rolling along on this beautifully manicured lawn, and it's about to go, one of the big challenges, it's about to go right up this hill, and I want to show you how this works. Look at that, little bit of acceleration just to get over the hump. There's lots of cool stuff to see, don't go away. As the home of consumer uh, innovation here at CES in Las Vegas, I am in the CES Innovation Awards Showcase area. And I mean, I'm showing you behind me tons and tons of really cool stuff. But right now, I am particularly wanting to show you this. This is from Aqua, uh, or Shenzhen's Zero Zero Infinity Technologies new drone. Now this is specifically the Hover Air Aqua, which is 
water-based video drone. It's a 100% waterproof self-flying camera drone. It can take off and land on water. It's really, really useful for those uh, hard environments where traditional drones get messed up. It's definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna keep on looking around and bringing you everything I can find. I wanna show you this. This is a really interesting uh, uh, device for freight and shipping. This is, I'm gonna show you here, the GLEC AI Tachograph. It's a integrated smart tachograph. It's powered by 20 billion parameter LLM. It's got four bit quantization, real time inference. It's all set up for embedding weights so that it can track freight accidents, so that it can uh, help with staying compliant with carbon emission standards and all sorts of other stuff. It is entirely powered by this LLM dashboard here and this processing unit from GLEC. Now, really, really cool stuff. Uh, that's worth taking a look at if any of you are doing freight and supply chain, and I know you all are. Well, friends, I think that's about all I can bring you here on In Case You Missed It from CES in Las Vegas here in the beginning of our exciting technological year of 2026. I'm gonna keep on exploring though here. Right now, I'm walking through Eureka Park, the home of international innovation here at CES. So many different international conclaves of cool and interesting work. So many cool things to be seen here. Uh, if you missed it, well, I hope I brought you some little taste. In the meantime, make sure that you like, subscribe, do all the things that you need to do. Check out the news on embeddedcomputing.com all the time. And of course, don't go away because we'll be here with you every single week on In Case You Missed It. I've been Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design here on the ground for you. Have a great day.